salve or a tincture or whatnot. We're trying to we're trying to process that out. Um, and you can certainly just eat herbs. A lot of them you could eat, and you would break down that plant and get some of that medicine that way. Um, but that can take that can take a long time. You know, certainly if you were going to the anaphylactic shock and wanted to use a herb for that, you wouldn't want something that you were going to have to eat and digest. And so extracting them makes that medicine more available to our body and in a quicker fashion. So we're not going to cover everything in herbal medicine making. There's that would have been like a 10-page handout, um, but I've got some of the big ones for you today. And so the first one I want to talk about um, are herbal tea. Okay. Um, I'm guessing everyone out there has probably had some sort of tea before in their life, whether it was green tea or black tea or something nasty maybe your grandma gave you that was herbal and tasted awful when you were a kid, something like that. Um, so herbal teas are uh, one of the most basic ways to extract a plant. And what we're doing is we're using water as a solvent, right? We're steeping that plant um, typically in warm water, water that's been brought to a boil and then cooled down just slightly. Um, some herbs you can't extract with cold water, but most of them you want hot water. Um, the difference between an herbal tea and um, what we think of as just like a black tea, like tea tea, caffeinated tea, black and green tea, is the steeping time. So it's different. There's also, if you get into the black and green tea world, depending on who you're talking to, like chomp chomp, that kid knock off, burn the house down, burn the coop down.